Ignition. We have liftoff. Embryos Technologies. This stock is on a tear. It's on a bull run. Stock, the company's on fire. They're the one company that's actually bringing the impossible battery to the market. And it could be the highest octane energy storage story heading into next year and beyond. Their tech is unmatched. 500 watt hours per kilogram is a moat nobody else has right now. Let's get into it. Quarter three revenue, 21 million, up 42% quarter over quarter and up 173% year over year. Gross margins rose 15% versus 9% in the prior quarter. 35 million in new UAS purchase orders secured this quarter. Manufacturing capacity now is at 1.8 gigawatt an hour. Internal electrode line being built. And the CEO on the last earnings call said, with just 10 million more in revenue, we'd hit positive EBITDA. A breakthrough in battery tech. Conventional graphite-based batteries stall out around 300 watt hours per kilogram. Amprius has already commercialized cells hitting 500. The secret, a 100% silicone anode. The impact, ultralight, ultra-dense batteries that deliver nearly double the energy in the same footprint. And this isn't theory. Amprius is shipping real product today. They're targeting the perfect high-value niche. Instead of battling for razor-thin margins in consumer EVs, Amprius focuses on markets where weight is the ultimate bottleneck. Electric vehicle takeoff and landing aircraft, air taxis. Air taxis don't work with heavy batteries. Amprius has already partnered with Abbott to power their next-generation aircraft. Defense and drones, longer range, lighter payloads, mission-critical reliability. Exactly what military and industrial drones demand. These aren't commodity markets. They're high-margin performance-driven sectors. The traditional critique of silicone anode tech was manufacturability. Amprius is solving that right now. New production lines are coming online with a manufacturing partner targeting 800 megawatt hours of capacity. A gigawatt hour scale factory is being built in Colorado right now to keep up with the surging demand. In other words, scalability, the final missing piece, is finally falling into place. Quarter 3 earnings was strong. Revenue reached a record, $21 million up 173% year over year. Gap earnings per share came in at negative three cents, beating the negative six cents estimate. Net loss narrowed from 10 million a year ago to 3.9 million. Gross margin rose to 15% from 9% in the second quarter. 75% of revenue came from aviation, mainly the UAS drone market. A record 35 million order was received from a leading UAS manufacturer. Backlog grew 83% quarter over quarter to 53 million. Adjusted EBITDA improved from minus 8 million a year ago to minus 1.4 million. And the cash position stands at 73 million with no debt. So while the broader battery industry dukes it out in low margin EV markets, Amprius is opening the door to electrified aviation and mission critical applications. And today's valuation is nowhere close to reflecting the size of the opportunity ahead. Oh, and guess what? On the third quarter earnings call, Amprius confirmed they've advanced into what Amazon calls the integration assessment phase. Oh boy, they might be supplying the batteries to Amazon devices here coming soon. There isn't a publicly announced date for when Amprius Technologies will get an official decision from Amazon. But the most recent update on November 6th shows the partnership has moved into a major new phase. Now here's what the news means. In simple terms, Amprius cleared the first stage of Amazon's device climate tech accelerator, which they joined back in July. They're no longer just part of a cohort. They're undergoing deep technical evaluation directly tied to Amazon's hardware roadmap. Now, what's Amazon testing? This next phase focuses on four major criteria. Feasibility. Can Amprius batteries physically work inside a specific Amazon device? Customer impact. Do users actually benefit, for example, longer run time or faster charging? Sustainability. Do the batteries help Amazon hit its carbon reduction goals? Production capacity. Can Amprius scale up manufacturing reliability if Amazon says yes? So Amazon is putting Amprius tech through its real engineering scrutiny right now. When can we expect the next milestone? Management didn't comment to a date. Instead, they said they'll give updates only when there's something concrete. But based on the structure of the accelerator programs, we can map out the timeline. The 16-week accelerator wrapped up with a finalist pitch event in Seattle in November 2025. Now Amprius announced that they had advanced to the next stage. And that came right around this point, meaning that they likely cleared a major hurdle. The integration work, fitting a new battery into a prototype Kindle, Echo, Ring device, usually takes three to six months of engineering and validation. So the expected window, we should have a definite update. Something like a commercial agreement or official partnership is most likely to land sometime in quarter one, quarter two of 2026. 
That gives Amazon's engineering teams time to complete the full integration assessment and validate the data. If this news hits, it's going to be huge. If we miss the mark, the stock might drop. We'll have to see how it plays out. But this is exciting news. And Amprius has made Forbes' most successful small cap companies. We made the list. There's 100 on this list, 100 companies. To compile the list, Forbes used data from FactSet to find 621 companies with a market value between $300 million and $5 billion that also had positive sales growth over the past 12 months and a share price of at least $5. The top 100 stocks were ranked based on earnings growth, sales growth, return on equity, and total stock return for the past five years. And there we go, number 82, Amprius Technologies. Congratulations. But that's not all. More accolades. More awards. Amprius is honored to have been included on the 2025 Deloitte Technology Fast 500 list, ranking in at number 117. The accolade recognizes the fastest growing tech companies in North America with winners determined by percentage revenue growth in recent years in ownership of proprietary technology. Receiving this award is an incredible honor that reinforces the momentum and market traction Amprius has built. Love to see it. Great job, guys. Getting excited about this company. Getting really excited about this company. Nokia Drone Networks integrates Amprius Cycor batteries to advance high reliability operations. Nokia has selected Amprius Cycor cells to power its next generation drone systems. Following extensive qualification and testing, Amprius batteries demonstrated the endurance, power delivery, and safety performance needed to position this drone in box solution among the most capable UAV platforms on the market. Amprius's balanced cells deliver power bursts required for takeoff and sustained energy needed for extended flight, ensuring obstacle avoidance returning to home, and other safety-critical subsystems remain powered for the entire mission. Amprius batteries offer performance games that enhance our drone capabilities, says Nokia. With Cycor, we can extend mission range, increase payload versatility, and improve system efficiency while maintaining the safety and reliability that our customers expect. And don't forget, back in November, U.S. Army to buy 1 million drones in a major acquisition ramp-up. Trump wants a million drones. He's going to get them. We might be a part of that. It's good for the industry. What's good for the industry is good for us. All right, that's all for Amprius today. Are there any shareholders out there? Anybody getting interested in Amprius? I'm excited about their battery technology. I'm excited about the growth that's upcoming. And if they can nail that Amazon partnership, holy smokes. We're going way up if it does. Maybe that's why the stock has run up in anticipation. But I'm getting very interested in this company. I might have to put a little starter money on this one. Go ahead and take a look on their website. Do some research on their financials. Let me know if you're already a shareholder. Let me know how many shares you got. I think I'm going to get involved in this one too. There's a lot of companies out there that I'm interested in right now. This is on the top of the list. Hope you're doing well. Take care. Bye.